And welcome, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some abs and wolves in best of three. As you all know, we played this in best of one yesterday, and it was really fun. And so we're going to try it in best of three here today. We have my dog, Puppy. That's her name. She came up here to join us here for a little bit uh, while we play um, abs and puppers. So she wanted to come join for for this deck, this this um, real fun deck here. As you can see, I made I made one change in the main deck for best of three. Um, I took out the second I took out the second Legion's End and the Knight of Autumn because there's less aggro uh, as far as Legion's End concerns, and there's less like fires of invention and and stuff like that um, for best of three. Um, as there is in best of one and so took those out of the main and I added in two Kral harpooners because there's a lot more gilded goose in best of in uh, best of three so I want these Kral harpooners it's a creature which creatures are vital when we're, we're playing a Vivian deck here uh, we want a lot of creatures for Vivian so it's a creature that you know we can use as a removal spell for for gilded goose right away and so that's so that's one little change that I made there and then um basically bumped up our sideboard with all the rest of the legion's ends so against aggro we have a bunch of those um the two knight of autumns are in the sideboard that we can still grab there um and uh then the rest of the, the sideboard of course i'm just going with veil of summer noxious grasp two awesome cards there and then i'm going questing beast as like my anti-control card because i, I again want to keep the the creature count really high playing a vivian deck here so if we were going to like maybe like if they're not playing creatures so like wicked wolf and tulsimer aren't as good i'm going to like replace those with questing beast um to have uh a, just a good haste threat in there and then one more one liliana for like another really big top end uh threat there um so yeah there there we go so this is abzan wolves let's give this a try in best of three if you're watching this later on youtube Go to the videos, go to yesterday's also. Check it out how we did played it in best of one. It was awesome. We had a lot of good games and everything, and it was really fun. So make sure you check out that video um, as well. Yeah, I have two dogs, Harvey and Puppy. Puppy's the smaller of the two, so it's easy to bring Puppy here to have her on stream. She always acts like she's like in trouble or something, like... <laughs> Cause she's not usually supposed to be in here so every time she's here on stream she's real shy and acting like like she's getting punished for being in here so all right we don't have any one drops so i don't need to play once upon a time right now and look for a one drop oh wait i do i have the goose eh we don't really need a goose i'm sorry I, we played the selesnia deck yes at the end of yesterday and that one we didn't have a one drop so that's what i was thinking there but no, this is a goose deck because we have Wicked Wolf. Yeah, I'd, uh, man, I need to get Puppy an emote. Yeah, Puppy, you need an emote. <laughs> and we got the goose. Well, could have had that last turn. Playing Wicked Wolf here doesn't make a lot of sense. Because it would just die to Clarion. Yeah, you don't need... Yes, you correct. You you would not need Gilded Goose in this deck if you don't play Wicked Wolf. This is why Vivian is so crucial, because Vivian gives all of our creatures flash. This isn't a fight you can win. 
Don't worry. I got this. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Oh, I should, yeah, I should move the deck that we're currently playing. So yeah, definitely wanted to get uh, Midnight Reaper down before a Sweeper. Unfortunately, I don't have Knight of Autumn in my main deck anymore. So without having, uh, without having Knight of Autumn in my main deck, I can't destroy these fires. <laughs> See, puppy, where are you going? Yeah, same deck as yesterday, except for now we're trying to invest the three. And I made I made just a couple of I made one small update to the main deck for best of three. <laughs> no sword he just wants to leave. He wants to go. All right, puppy. I'll take you back to the living room where you're more happy. All right, say bye to everybody, puppy. Say bye. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. All right, go ahead, pup. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so we'll have Harpooner take out this thing. Sorry, y'all. I know, I know y'all love puppy, but she wanted to go back to the room. All right, so we'll have our two Nine of Autumns after sideboard, and I'll also have you know like questing beasts and stuff, and deck will be better for this matchup after sideboard. Had a really good hand though. I'm just stopping at five at five lands and just have tons and tons of cards. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Fizzled out. No, this isn't a donation deck, Candice. So I made this deck. Right on schedule. I've got time. The focused and hone your prowess. Oh, 
sloppy technique. <laughs> yeah, if only Murderous Rider was riding a wolf, right? Should be. protect you hey carrot man oh they chose the wrong side of fey wishes there Okay, so let's have this Liliana, this Questing Beast, the Knight of Autumn. Basically, the game was going to take another five minutes, but we weren't going to be winning. They just cast Drawn from Dreams. Their hand's just loaded. They had like they missed land drops. Their hand just had tons of cards. It was loaded. We're not winning that at all. Um, I'm just moving on. We really don't have a, a chance to win that, but it's just going to take a little while longer and... That thing was over. I don't think I need Veil of Summer. I don't think I need Veil of Summer. How are we doing on creatures? 33. So if I take out 8, we'd still have 25 creatures. I want to take out Wicked Wolf and Gilded Goose. I don't really want Tulsimer either. Would I rather play Veil of Summer or Noxious Grasp? Like, what's Veil of Summer doing? Probably not very much, right? Noxious Grasp just kills Teferi? Like, that's not very much either. Yeah, neither neither are that good. Veil of Summer I can cycle. I mean I guess I could just play like, you know, one of the like two wicked wolves, but yeah, I guess I'll just play two wicked wolves. I just don't really want to play like a whole bunch of uh, geese, like they're just gonna die. So I'm I'm not making any food for these wolves. But I guess if I have a night pack ambusher in play, a wolf can kill a four four dragon, I guess. But when their deck's just built on sweepers, I don't want to um, think that uh, they like the geese are going to survive or anything. Hey, Bert, thank you so much for gifting out that sub. We got JPS, brand new sub. Thanks to Santa Bert. Santa Bert here.
All right, fifth sub of the day. Let's see if you're worthy. You can still walk away. And Shaft, staying on that three-month streak as well. Thank you, Shaft. All right, so this time we drew Vivian. Really important card for us to have, for sure. Oh, I missed yours, Necrolepsy. No, it says, it says Storm Count 16. I think we're good. So Charming Prince can flicker the Knight of Autumn if they if they do have a backup Fires of Invention. Hey, SDN. We begin. Behold. Hmm. I like this Midnight Reaper, but I also want to hit land drops. Let's take the Midnight Reaper. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Come on! How could I have lost? Yeah, Chef. Yep. Yeah, put this deck together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vivian. Yeah, our, our deck's definitely built around Vivian, so our deck definitely looks a lot better with with Vivian than without it. That is true. Every exploit ripples through time. Be mindful. Truth lies beyond vision. Should have taken this land. All things begin and end in nature. Feel the heat of my flames. <laughs> Magnificent. This is kind of tough.
You fight like a city brat. Ah, uh, this is rough. Really wish I had another land. I don't think it's as easy as just kill the murderous rider and attack the Sarkin. Does open me open me up to a sweeper. So they just have one white mana for a sweeper now. Every defeat is a new beginning. Bounce the Knight of Autumn. Here we Darn. Look to the skies. This is unfortunate not... So yeah, I'm just, I'm just trading there to, you know, again, make me better against sweepers. It's just unfortunate not being able to have Midnight Reaper in play first. They have four cards plus this one if they have a sweeper. Need a block with a two two here. Like if if they have Clar if they have Clarion, I don't want them to to kill my questing bees with Clarion. I want to force them to use time wipe. Oh come on, having another fires. Ooh, not a sweeper. Let's slow bounce this Knight of Autumn. I've got it. Do not bounce Knight of Autumn. The mysteries of life are endless. Okay. Definitely looks better having the Vivians for sure. I guess the Wicked Wolf did something. What if I play two Legion's Ends instead of the Wicked Wolves? To Legion's End, you know, like they're they're definitely playing four Sarkins, and their their goal is to make like, you know, just. Sarkin minus play some dragons. If I just play some legions ends to exile the dragons. It's not a hit off of Vivian. But I think we have enough hits off Vivian. I wouldn't really want that anyway. Tulsmer also not great. Like these two are not great. Yeah, well if we just play a couple of legions ends. Oh, I already had one Legion's End in the deck anyway. Yeah, take out like a Tulsmer and a Wicked Wolf. Play two more. Mm. We got two Tulsmer, two Wicked Wolf. It's not a very good Wicked Wolf matchup, especially if I'm not playing any food. Alright, let's do this.
That was a good game. Not in love, but Charming Prince gets a couple scries for us. Kind of wish I had a third Knight of Autumn in the deck instead of two. Maybe I shouldn't have Maybe the two Harpooner. And the main deck is wrong. Maybe it should just be one Harpooner, one Knight of Autumn. Get that get that Knight of Autumn back in here. I'm not exactly sure what they're shocking for. So led with the questing beast so that if this scenario presented itself with my opponent. Um that, that land was just a perfect draw. If they go, you know, like time wipe, I'll be able to have ambush or end step. And GG. Mind and body should move in unison. Like Keep an open mind. And that's why Questing Beast is my sideboard card. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. The old turn five kill. Jeez. Yeah, that the land drop was just perfect. So that allowed my Paradise Druid to attack and put lethal on the board. On the board, well, you know, give us lethal there. Doing a guide for, on how to maximize your arena collection. I could maybe put something together for that. I'm not sure. No guarantees. I'll, I'll think about it, though. I'll write it down. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll see what it... I'll, yeah, I'll see. Um, Island Fabled Passage. I did that. I did this. I did this. Okay, Simic Flash. I mean, Tulsimer is good. The problem is, just Tulsimer is just the same thing as all the other cards in my deck. Or in my hand. 
It's a good card. I guess I keep it. <laughs> Looks like I was keeping it either way if I would have put it down to the bottom. I don't know why I didn't do this last turn. Oh, what? Uh, it didn't stop afterwards. I didn't I didn't put the, the stop there. That was absolutely my plan was to play ambusher. Slow and steady wins the race. Jeez. Well, they didn't really have a good a good time to bounce the wolf. Whenever they, if they ever bounce the wolf, I can just replay it. So they didn't really have a great option as far as bouncing the wolf goes. Tulsimer and Wicked Wolf are both awesome cards, but it's hard to resolve them because they cost 4 and 5 mana, respectively. Oh, you're saying okay. So you're saying if I just if they just bounced it during my main phase, then I couldn't get the token. But then yeah, then I could have just played. Yeah, at that point I would have just played. I would have played Tulsimer. Um, I guess I just drew Garuk, so I could have maybe played that maybe. But yeah, if I didn't have Garuk in my hand, yeah, I would have played Tulsimer, and then and then you know all of our wolves would have gained life and everything.
Tulsmore would be pretty much GG. Okay, we get a hit our land drops. Got a flash creature, got a Veil of Summer. Sounds like a keep to me. Lead with the Overgrown Tomb. Keep. Oh yeah, definitely. Real good for us if we can get Vivian in play. It basically, it makes it impossible for my opponent if, if we can get Vivian in play and then and have stuff in, in hand to cast it, I suppose, also. Um, Definitely thinking about just playing the Midnight Reaper there, honestly. I really was. Because this is, like, the worst case scenario was my opponent having Cutthroat and then a bunch of counter spells kind of thing. Um, I guess we'll just do this with Veil back up. Now, though. Turns their creature into a 4-3. Hey, Matthew, I'm doing good. Worst case scenario for me here is that they have their own Nightpack Ambusher. Th then they're going to be ahead if they do. I could just throw down Vivian and make them counter it. Then they don't get to play their own Ambusher. But then I don't get to, like, you know, get the extra wolf and things like that. But if I, so basically if I do something and they have, I mean, this is just the, the great, the, gay, the great problem with playing Simic Flash. If I do something and they have Frilled Mystic, I'm going to be sad. If I don't do anything and they have Ambush, I'm going to be sad. I think my life's worse if they just play Ambush or this turn than if they play Frilled Mystic. If they play Frilled Mystic, my life's not that bad. lost so much already. I won't lose more. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less mm. than you. I only get the lifelink part.
Yep, ambusher it is. But now things are going to be pretty good for me with having Vivian in play. Assuming we can find more things to, to play. Which is a big assumption. Tear it down! Tear it all down! This is where I need Tulsimer to, to win the win the battle here. What are they doing? What are they? Okay, so they're ether gusting that thing. That was a really bad auto tap. That auto tap doesn't make doesn't let me make another food. I mean, I guess I can tap the Paradise Druid though. So I could have another bounce thing. All right, I'll just take the four cards. Yeah, Midnight Reaper is so good. Please step out. Please step out. Darn. doing it doesn't block this thing okay what am I blocking you with that's paradise druid I guess
All right, one, two, Have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. So I can pair Kral Harpooner with the Wolf Token. Because the Kral Harpooner is going to be a 6-2. Like, so flash... Flashing this thing um, in while it's a... While you're blocking is pretty valuable there. Get rid of this Wildborn Preserver. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. So I can still pay for Quench. They could have Essence Capture. Okay. And this sets us up perfectly to... Starting over is the only way. Do some stuff. All right, so end step. Want my wolf. Kill your wolf. Okay. Show you what was lost. I mean, this game's over. All right, GG's about to be two zero. So the Wicked Wolf, all right, so how that was going to work there, the Wicked Wolf has a fight trigger, and then the Tulsimer has a fight trigger, so it would fight twice. Um, all I have to do is eat a couple food. You know, so two food, put it up to a 6-6, six, six, and then as a 6-6, six, six, it will fight twice. And so I could have killed the 11-11 there. All right, so we're 2-0. and oh. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops. I clicked that button over there, go back. I'm gonna go ahead and reset Arena here. Cause yeah, as you saw, as you saw there during those games, we had a good amount of lag. Let's go ahead and just reset. Right. Yep. So yeah, I, choosing Legion's End wouldn't do anything. Um, Vivian can only cast creatures, so don't need to don't need to grab the Legion's End. So that. The double block with the Midnight Reaper giving me the the four cards was real big. But obviously just, just the Vivian resolving. Well, Vivian's... Yeah, Vivian's minus... Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, you figured it out. That's a mulligan. That's a keep. We only need the one white source for Tulsimar, so that's good. That's all we got. We'll put one of our friend to the wolves down to the bottom. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, three mana Vivian. That's an awesome planeswalker. Good example. It's an interesting three mana planeswalker. It's not broken, but it's very good and could be excellent in specific scenarios. That's a real good point there, Borderland Ranger. Yeah, but that's a that's a well designed three mana planeswalker for sure. All right, what we got? We got Selesnia stuff over here. Murderous Rider probably gonna do some work. Borderland Ranger, did you see? I, I played your Selesnia Knight deck yesterday, and it went really well. We did awesome with it. Come on, play the one mana one one flyer. Darn. We want them to play that one one flyer. So I could play Harpooner here. Yeah, we'll just do it. I don't think I wait to see if they play the one one flyer later. I don't know. That it does mean that we're shocking though. So I've already taken four damage. Would I deal three to them to take one? Yeah. We got Tulsmer will gain his life back. That's fine. Yeah, and best of one. Yeah, yeah, I played it yesterday in best of one. I messed up the first game real bad. But then after that we did we did well. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. You got a Bertolux. Yep. This is the best of three version of our deck from yesterday. That we did awesome with. Down to nine, we're gonna shock down to seven, but then gain three up to ten. <laughs> yeah, Moxie, yeah, we've been getting a, a, some good wins last few days. Been doing well.
Yeah, just don't be too upset about the first game, Borderland Ranger. Messed up that first game pretty bad. Don't be too upset there. I'd like to draw just a basic where we don't have to shock. Nope. Man, if Tulsimer stays out here, <laughs> each one of these wolves gain gaining us three life and doing double fights. I need my opponent to play more small creatures. So we can get the double fight action on. Just played against the most glorious jank I've ever had the ple pleasure playing against. It was five color, knight's charge, cavalier, and lotus field plus repudiate to cancel the sack trigger plus Kiora. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, well, opponent doesn't doesn't approve of fun. That lame tribunal. We're going to be gaining a whole bunch of life a turn. So now my opponent can kill me if they have. If they have the flying adventure creature, because they, they give the Lovestruck Beast plus two, plus one in flying, and then they play it as a 1-1, one, one, so then they get to attack with it. I need to hope they just don't have it for a turn. Okay, that's not bad. So now I can play Vivian, and, and Vivian's tick up can give one of my creatures reach, so I can protect against that. Um, so I can do that, or I can just go, I can just go with another wolf to kill this one, one again. I think I just want to go Vivian plus Ryder. I think that's the safer thing to do. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. You fight like a city brat. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have Disenchant here. I took it out of the main for Harpooner, thinking that we're going to face more geese, but we've seen zero geese and a lot of enchantments. Huh. They turned that thing into a 2-2, so they can't attack. Weird. Tulsmer? All things begin and end in nature. So I did I don't have to worry about them like flying over the top this time, because if they have that you know, give it flying and then play the 1-1. One, one. Because my creatures have flash, I just flash in the wolf and kill the 1-1. One, one. And so they still can't attack with the Lovestruck Beast. They could do it on the, the Luxodon, but it's not lethal because I'm at 7 with the Luxodon. Think nature is kind? Just a cue. Now 
No Tulsimers, no Nightpack Ambushers. Uh, we have a Tulsimer down at the bottom. Oh, that's right, because we mulliganed and we put one down there. Hmm. Why do you do this? Oh, this doesn't... This doesn't flicker it right away. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. What am I doing? This doesn't come back till the end step. What am I doing? What a waste. I knew that. Ugh. That was just a really bad play, obviously. Now he gets attacked with the Lovestruck Beast. Yeah, I have Gilded Geese for for food protect for food production. Wasn't good. You ever lost a home? Game's not over. We're fine. All I have to do is draw a Tulsimer and a Nightpack Ambusher. I was just in a great spot and I messed that up pretty bad. Put us in a worse spot, but not terrible. There is wonder in a blade of grass. I, I just didn't need to to I didn't need to fight the six two because as we saw it was just a four four my my creature died anyway to that like oh, their creature died anyway to that um I guess we minus first Tulsimer <laughs> I've seen puppies Ambusher. Whine less than you yeah I like puppies do I want fabled passage no. I mean, it would shuffle the one Tulsimer that we know about. That's a whole bunch of cards that I don't want to draw, though. You can still walk away. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, always gotta find those land drops for sure. Boom. See, told y'all we were just fine. We were fine, just fine. Yeah, uh, replace Elder Spell with, with uh, Disfigure. I talked about it at the end of the video. I talked about how Elder, Elder Spell wasn't necessary, and I would replace it with this Disfigure. So, yeah, if that's the only card you don't have, perfect. Replace it with Disfigure for aggro matchups. I don't, yeah, you can, you can listen to me. The video's up on YouTube right now if you want to just like go to the end of the video and, and listen to me talk about that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Everything in our deck is good. What do you do when all your cards are good and you gotta cut cards? I guess I'm gonna get rid of this and this. I guess. I don't know. Midnight Reaper's not bad. Still gotta cut two more. Legion's End is so good in this matchup, but I just don't... I guess I'm just going to cut one. This seems like just a really good matchup for us. I think the Paradise Druids are pretty important of casting our other spells. Maybe I get rid of the Geese? Or, I guess, I guess getting rid of Druids is better than getting rid of Geese. Mm, I need that Legion Zen back. So I'm planning on going Swift End turn two, but then I don't have a great turn three. Could just play like the Vivian turn three, but then I may not have Ambusher for four. Looks like it's pretty likely that my opponent has the card that picks up Innkeeper if you try targeting it. I don't know. Save the Thing, whatever it's called. It's probably not the title of that card, Save the Thing. If they tap out, I'll cast Murderous Rider. If they don't, I'll make a food with a goose. Um, looks like they missed their land drop. Yeah, Shepard's the other part of it. What's the... What's the other part of Shep Shepard? Yeah, is it, is it save the thing? The wild wasn't meant to be kept. The mysteries of life are endless. Usher to safety? That's pretty close. Pretty close. Oh. 
for the fallen. We gotta get these attacks in. Gotta play optimally. Not passing up any attacks. Let's do zero damage. Squirrels hit harder. Where's the land? Let me show you what was lost. All right, what you got going on over here? All right, so they did have a save the thing. An unbreakable formation. Okay, so you've got claws. Strike now! Strike hard! I always think that she's gonna say, strike now, or forever, forever hold your peace. This Archon's going to be annoying to deal with. I can swift end it, but then they... Wait, they cannot usher it to safety. It's pro-white. So I guess I could just swift end it. Oh, come on. Uh... I'll be back, just like before. Well, that's unfortunate. I had to, so of course I, I played the Knight of Autumn because I had to before this Hushbringer entered.
That doesn't do anything. So I'll be able to make a food as well. I'm just sad with all, all my cool little fight puppies are never are not gonna do anything now because of the Sushbringer. <laughs> yeah, now they're hush puppies. I know. Now they're hush puppies. <laughs> That's what I got going on over here to some hush puppies. Yeah, uh, black, red, and white is called Mardu. That's good. I mean, it's not that great because <clears throat> of the save your thing card, um, uh, usher to safety. I don't know why they didn't attack. It was a free attack. Their creatures were indestructible and had vigilance. So it was absolutely free. There's no downside to attacking. They should have attacked out. I would have taken two from the Hushbringer. And I would have gone block, block, and then I would have chumped the Venerate Luxodon. So they would have killed one of my puppies and dealt four damage to me. And it was just absolutely free. They could have just had that. Alright, that thing's out of here. Now I can get Tulsmer in play. Yeah, that worked out. Dude, Abzan Wolves is sweet.
We went uh, six and one in best of one yesterday with this deck. I was 6-0 and then lost the last one. And now we're doing well again here in best of three. Well, they're my land drops, and I can scry if I want to. Yeah, I've been liking Abs and Wolves. Hey, good job. Oh, you're talking about my record for the day, yeah. 10 and 3, definitely a good record for today, for sure. They're my land drops, and I can scry if I want to. Ugh. That would have been so nice to have this harpooner here. That's why I have harpooner in the deck for that scenario. Alright, well, it was fun while it lasted. Walk with me, sing with me. We hadn't been playing against Oko, and we'd been winning. Now we're playing against Oko. If I would have had the Harpooner the turn before, wouldn't have had the turn two Oko. Yep, it's just too late. I assure you, our deal is worth your while. Get rid of my wolf. Uh. Hey, Borderland Ranger with a resub. Biggest regret about missing yesterday's stream was not getting to make hanger back center. Centaur. Centaur? Centaur. Jokes. <clears throat> Ooh, you're a tricksy one. Yeah, I guess it's basically hanger back cent centaur. Getting a four mana. 4-4 four, four that makes a couple of 2-2s. Two that card was pretty impressive. It was so good against Questing Beast, that's for sure. But anyway, thanks for the reset there, Borderland Ranger. Alright, that's number 17 on the day. So unfortunately, I didn't get to kill their wolf. They they pro or sorry, I didn't my wolf didn't get to kill their goose. They probably have I invite you to Ooh, they do not. I was gonna say they probably have their own. Huh. Oh, it's, it seems like an odd decision. Like they gotta have just more balance, right? Yep, they have more balance. It's two elves in a horse costume. 
That's a pretty good joke, too. Your new look is enchanting. Yay. That was fun. Like all of these cards. Do you like the Garrix for the late game and everything in Tulsimer? I like all these cards. We gotta cut three of them though. But obviously seeing all these Ether Gusts and Brazen Borrowers, I want Vela Summers. I don't I don't have room for Legion's End. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do from here. Yeah, I mean, Legion's End on a Goose or a Krasis is good, but I, I don't have room. Like, I, I don't want it over the other things that we have already. Could not stop turn two Oko with my hand. Please don't have turn two Oko again. For how my opponent didn't have mana that last game, if if we would have found a land in one of our first two cards with you know like the scry to the bottom, and then if the next one was a land, one of those first two were. I really like our chance. I really liked our chances. I've lost so much already. I won't look starting over is the only way. Gosh, Tulsimer is so good, but I don't have mana. Hey, skin. Thank you so much. All right, we got a new donation deck. Best of three slot for Thursday. Or fourth slot for Thursday. Awesome. Took a break after I got married, and I'm lost on cards past War of the Spark. Okay, can you make something semi-competitive and flashy with Jeskai Thousand Year Storm for standard? Most wounds. All right, the dream is Warden or Deploy times seven. Awesome. Okay. I'll write that down. So. For Thursday, fourth slot. All right, will do. Uh, 
Okay, so I need... Tear it down! Tear it all down! So the problem is that they have Ether Gust or Brazen Borrower. You know, like I want to play my Nightpack Ambusher to block. But of course that's the problem. Hmm. We saw them just have so many of those cards last game. It's just got to be one of those again. Ooh, maybe not? Yay, maybe not. The land fights for us. Well, that's pretty great. You fight like a city brat. And this is a little ways away from ultimating. Rise, my elemental Would you need to tech into Abzan Wolves for Fire's decks? Just more, more Night of Autumn. You can also play Duress. Again. Really wish I had that Tulsimer. That I had to put down to the bottom because I just didn't have lands.
All right, I guess I just need to mulligan my hand. I didn't have any of my interaction. You know, I had no, no Noxious Grasps or um, Murderous Riders or Vela Summer. Any kind of interaction. Like that for Planeswalkers, and Nissa just destroyed me. Uh, lose to Oko, lose to Nissa. Yep. Turn two, Oko won one game. Turn three, Nissa won the other. I didn't have Planeswalker removal either game. Kind of need Planeswalker removal for those things, because otherwise they're just going to win the game. Legions that would be good here instead of five or six drops. Well, yeah. After your opponents went underneath you with Nissa and activated it a bunch. Yeah, you don't need five or six drops anymore. And when you're stuck on lands. Yeah, of course. Those games are going to be losing, though. Like, I'd, I'm not trying to... I think I need the, the five and six drops whenever I actually have interaction for, like, the Planeswalkers right away and, and actually, you know, stay with them. And then I need the five and six drops to pull ahead. All right, so it looks like blue-white control. <clears throat> Not a good hand against blue-white control. We just have a whole bunch of removal. Um... I mean, obviously, if I can get Garrick to resolve, that'll be good. We'll see, though. Vivian? Darn. I think it's, yeah, I think it's very possible that Oko gets banned. We'll see. Um, on Monday, I don't know. I wouldn't be shocked if it was no ban either, honestly. Alright, so I'm going with the risk here. One, I'm not... I'm in a, like... Like, they, they obviously have Chemistry inside because they shock. I'm in a rough spot. I'm going to... One, hopefully they don't... Hopefully they don't have Time Wipe. But if they do... You know, like, they, you know, they only play, like, the four Time Wipes. So, hope, I was just hoping they did, didn't have it. But if they did, then hopefully I would draw the land and I could just slam Garrick. That we know wouldn't get countered. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Ugh. Well, I feel like they would have played Time Wipe last turn if they had it. So I don't think they have Time Wipe. Nope, they did. I did not draw the land. GG. Certainly how this game was with them having all these cards, Chemistry's Insight, these castles, I think I have to take a risk like that. I don't think this was a good sit back and, and not take risk game.
So they could activate Castle to make a 1-1 one, one to block, but then they only have the two mana. For how my opponent played the Gadwick for one, they were telling me that they had a... a three mana counter spell. All right, we're gonna have a good chance after sideboarding, though. I've got it. You ever listen to the crickets? Oh, that's my kind of music. Okay. Well, the Wicked Wolf can be pretty indestructible. Midnight Reaper is a good card. Agent of Treachery. Kind of like before, like Gilded Goose. It's really not going to do very much. Neither there's Wicked Wolf. So yeah, we're going to cut. We're going to cut those two. Hmm. No, I'm just going to cut all those things. All right, we'll keep three goose. It's just going to get swept up by a sweeper. Like, that's all the goose is going to do, though. Why double temple? Why double temple? No, I mean, killing... Killing Gadwick is important. For, like you said, friend is Friend of Wolves a dead card? Well, one, one Friend of Wolves just puts two bodies into play, so it makes it, like, where they kind of need to play a time wipe. So, any card that puts two bodies into play is valuable in that respect. But then also... Um, you know, killing Gadwick and not letting them just pick Gadwick back up with Time Wipe and Teferi and things like that is valuable as well.
If we just didn't have double temple of silent or like double temples, I could have just put the this down to the bottom, played a three drop last turn. Life would have been better. But we did have double temples. Yeah, I guess you could say triple temple. This isn't a fight you can win. No, I am not making this up as I go. Hey, Plumber, thanks for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. That didn't pan out. Here we go. It's only a matter of time. This is this has been a frustrating match. So I do need a land to be able to play the Garrick, but I don't think we should prioritize keeping a land on top, because I think I'd, I'd rather prioritize looking for threats. Um, yeah, we got plenty of lands in the deck that we can just draw. It's not like I need that land necessarily. Aww. Flicker said, I, I queued into a ranked match, and as soon as my opponent saw Oko, they conceded the match. I feel bad. Yeah, that's that is kind of rough. If you copy an X creature, the X is zero. Yeah, if it's yeah. If it's like a star star creature, then yeah, it'll be a zero zero creature. All those those numbers are just zeros. With copies. Really glad we put that land down at the bottom. That's all we that's all we're still drawn since then is just land, so good call putting that down to the bottom. Definitely feels like my opponent has more Dovin's Vetoes. I feel, like, I feel like that's the only thing they can possibly have in hand is like Dovin's Veto. But might as well, might as well try. Huh. Alright, I just want to draw the card basically. to survive uh, yeah I'm not a fan of Esper stacks I don't I don't think it's too great of a deck <laughs> you cannot run or hide So I'm kind of putting lethal out there, but they have the castle, the white castle. 
Uh, now they have enough mana to activate White Castle and Blue Castle. I was doing that though, so like to force them to activate White Castle where they couldn't activate Blue Castle also. But I guess now they can. They've drawn really poorly, my opponent has, because they've they've scryed a bunch of cards to the bottom. I know I know twice they've gone scry both both to the bottom, like bottom, 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 bottom. I know they've done that multiple times. And there's another double bottom. So yeah, they've drawn really poorly. I think they need to up with going bottom bottom, they probably need to upkeep scry again. But all right, well, we kind of got that one. But yeah, you see the problem with Gilded Goose is drawing it later. As we saw there, it's such a bad card to draw it late. Let's play a Tulsimer over one of the geese. Fires has been pretty popular right now. A lot of people are playing Fires of Invention for some reason. It's just a popular deck to play against right now. You're three and six of the Mono Black Discard. Are you playing it in best of one? I I don't think that dex is good in best of one because I think I think best of one there's a whole lot more aggro and so I don't I don't think mono black discards as good there. We're playing a whole bunch against a whole bunch of gruel aggro. Yeah, that that's probably the toughest matchup is gruel aggro. Honestly, I didn't face gruel aggro earlier. No, I mean the the discard is good in best of three. I think it's I think it's fine there. Uh, it's not a great hand, but we're gonna hit our land drops. That's that's something valuable. Control decks, like this is the kind of matchup where like they you know they try to grind through every single card, and so like they do get better. If you mulligan, basically at all. I can no longer stand by. Trust me, I have a plan. Um. Gosh, why is Teferi so annoying? I guess I can't hold up Nightpack Ambusher. done the hero thing before now what all right so they got chemistry's insight no I think my opponent wanted to, like, like they wanted to hold up like a, a, you know, like maybe like a Dovin's veto or something. Like if I, like they have to time wipe here, 
And then after they time wipe, then I could just land a six mana planeswalker. I guess they don't have to, to plan to time wipe, I suppose. Um we'll get this. Again, they had Dovin's Veto available. They just counter one of these. I don't need to let them. Alright, we're 4 and 1. On to the final boss. Um, there we go. Hawkeye's actually sitting in front of the other screen. Good boy. Okay, let's, let's reset Arena before final boss here. It's kind of getting a little laggy there. You're so ready for the enchantments deck. Um, bad news. I don't think we're going to get to the enchantments deck today. Yeah, we're not. It's 9.30 already. I, I streamed from 3 to 10. I had it up there for like a... Maybe if, you know, if we had time. But these leagues have been going long. And so I think this is going to be our last match of the night. All right, yep, yep, good call. It's final boss time. I need to change the playlist to the final boss playlist. Um, if I can see around Hawkeye. He's in front of the screen. If I look way over here. There we go. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you doing? All right, here we go. Uh, yes, Dizzy, this is my daily job, streaming. And so I stream for seven hours each day. Temples have definitely been awkward at times. So much control on Arena RN. never heard of overtime i've i've definitely streamed past 10 o'clock a bunch but just starting a brand new league after 10 o'clock when these these leagues usually take about two hours like all three of our decks today that we've played have taken around two hours i've got time This has not started off very well for me. If they have like if they have a sweeper here, it's pretty devastating. <laughs> no, we went five and one last time. Yeah, uh, last time with Mardu, we played we played the Mardu enchantments on Saturday. If so, if you missed that, if you're you know like really looking forward to the video, if you, you missed that, check you know check it out on YouTube. We played it on Saturday, and we went five one. Oh, even. Even more devastating than Clarion. Fire Zone Invention plus Clarion. I've got it. How could it get even worse? Wild animals I like. People, 
You fight like a city brat. The good thing is they can only play stuff sorcery speed. So if they want to play like the borrower to pressure Vivian, um, I'll have I'll be, be able to like fight it with Tulsimer. No, this is not a twelve-hour stream. It's just a regular regular old stream. Trust me, I have a plan. Deckmaster is not working right now. I would normally have Deckmaster up, but it's not working right now. Sorry, okay. I wonder why they bounced the Tulsimer and not like the, the other creature. If I had one more mana, and if I could play Tulsimer. Fight Niv Mizzet, then play Charming Prince, Flicker, Tulsimer, make a new token, fight Niv Mizzet again. And then I'd still have the Tulsimer and the Charming Prince to block the Cavalier. If I had one more mana. Yeah, my opponent's hand was, was pretty amazing. Just each turn, since turn two with the Brazen Borrower, just great turns. You know, Brazen Borrower, then Teferi, then Fires plus Clarion. And just going on from there. Might of Autumn's been like the most important card. No, I don't think anything needs to be changed with the um, advantage of being on the play in best of one. I don't th think there needs to be anything, any change.
All right, playing a couple of Veil of Summers with the, with the Brazen Borrowers. This is ugly. Still pretty ugly. If I don't draw a land here, then I know I need to scry for one. If I do draw a land, then, then maybe I don't need to. I don't really want to put another threat. That's good. So I don't really want to put another threat out here just to get two for one with Clarion immediately. But then again, if I don't play something, then like Bonecrusher Giant, Teferi. Gosh, Teferi. Yeah, I guess we just play this. And hope for no Clarion. So that just want just like one removal spell doesn't blow up the board. I don't know why I would think my opponent would not have Clarion. They're obviously just going to have Fires of Invention plus something big like Drawn from Dreams or whatever. Also. Ooh, no. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Maybe they accidentally hit the skip turn button. Yeah, take an extra two damage by waiting, but I didn't want them to know that their Cavalier was going to be dead before making that decision. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. you I'll try to come back for you I could have just played the ambusher instead of instead of murderous riding that I could have just played the ambusher and then no this thing would have just been a 4-4 never mind it would not have been a 5-5 so yeah the thing would have just been a 4-4 no I couldn't kill the cavalier Looks like my opponent's got this here.
All right, so we went four and two. Nothing wrong with that. We didn't. We don't really have enough cards against control, as you saw. Even like that last game, you know, I still have like Gilded Goose and Wicked Wolves that I don't really want. Because yeah, against against control, of course, like the Wolves and the Tulsimer is definitely not as good. Um, it's tough playing against these control decks where Veil of Summer isn't good. Like Veil of Summer is a card that we're kind of relying on, and so playing against the versions like with these fires where Veil of Summer isn't good. That's kind of tough. Um, I think the first thing, the, the Crowl Harpooner was okay, but not not that great. And, and we really didn't see that many Gilded Goose decks. I think I want that Knight of Autumn back in the main deck. Um, we played against so many decks with enchantments. And Knight of Autumn would have been awesome most all the time. So I, I would definitely put that Knight of Autumn back in the main deck instead of the Harpooner. Um, still, you know, keep the two in the side. I think the Liliana in the sideboard, I, did, I didn't like that card. I, I don't really want another six mana planeswalker. I don't think. I think we have the two is fine. I want. I think we need an, another creature here, um, something to kind of fill up these slots. Uh, it could be, we could play a third knight of like something, some creature that's good against control. We could play. Well, I mean, I could play a fourth Vivian. My deck's so much better with Vivian. Maybe that's that's the thing. The whole deck gets just a whole lot better with with Vivian. That could be the thing. Is just playing another one of these. Instead of that Liliana. Um, could be a fourth Midnight Reaper. Could play, you know, a fourth Questing Beast. Another option um, for another card against control. We could we could have uh, one Ceratops. What's up, Crazy Pyro? We could have a, a Shifting Ceratops that's just pretty good in a um, wide variety of settings. You know, good against Simic Flash also. Um, thank you so much there, Crazy Pyro, staying on that huge streak. Continuing that support. Um, so what could you play instead of Questing Beast if you don't have any? Shifting Ceratops. That's a that's a great one if you don't if you don't have Questing Beast. If you have Shifting Ceratops, that's a that's a good replacement there. Yeah, definitely want this extra Knight of Autumn. And then probably just the fourth Vivian over here. There's not... I don't know. I feel like I could probably... We could probably take out the third Legion's End in the sideboard also to free up another slot for, like, anti-fires. Whether we want, like, the fourth Knight of Autumn or if there's, if there's something else that's, like, really... If there's some other really good creature to play that's you know good against like these fires decks and blue white control Cause fires is is getting you know really popular i play against it all the time these days i don't know what it would be um So yeah, I, I don't know. There's one other sideboard slot here. If you want something else like that, like I guess, like I, I don't know if there's anything better than shifting ceratops, kind of thing. Um, it could be midnight reaper. It could be what? Rankle. I want to play wrinkle. Maybe we play a wrinkle. That could be something. Hmm. Because I, I want to keep, like, you know, the creature count high. So especially with bringing, getting a fourth Vivian in here. So it could be Rankle or Shifting Ceratops. Or a fourth Midnight Reaper. I like the haste. I think I think maybe we just play a wrinkle. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Cavalier of Dawn's another good option. I don't know if I have enough white mana really for Cavalier of Dawn reliably. Um, 
13 white sources with the fabled passage also but this this is another option you know i'm just trying to think of like different things um stone no stone coil serpent i think just costs too much mana and everything uh there's n there's not really other great flash cards there's like blacklands paragon where blacklands paragon can also be like anti um There's Angel of Grace. Anyway, that could be anti-something. Uh, what? Maybe a black-white Soren for that slot. You know how like they always like minus Teferi, and their Teferi's chilling at one loyalty. Where black black-white Soren, you could play it, then tick up Soren, and do one damage to them. And the Soren Soren works just great with Midnight Reaper. It doesn't work as as great with like some of the other the more expensive creatures because you kind of have to tick up before you're minusing, kind of thing. But that's another option for a little bit of a cheaper card. So, a lot of things to do with this this slot here. I don't know what to what to play. Um, you know, yeah, Rankle, Soren, White Cavalier. Um, I mean. I guess he could play like the Great Henge, but that's really slow. I want I want something to like play kinda early where we can take out some of these other things. Maybe maybe a wrinkle. I think haste haste is very valuable. So yeah, maybe try a wrinkle and a Vivian over there instead of that third Legion's end in Liliana. And then also replace a harpooner with a Knight of Autumn. It's good to have like one ofs. When you're playing cards like a Once Upon a Time and you're playing Vivian where you kind of dig a little bit, it's good to have one ofs. So I like it. There we go. There, I think that those are a couple of good sideboard changes. I think the Vivian and the Wrinkle there. Lower that curve. All right. Um, that's Abs and Wolves, though. Still a good showing in best of three after a good showing in best of one yesterday. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, check out the best of one uh, check out us playing this in best of one yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of success over there and I like, the, I think this is a pretty good best of one deck cause there's a lot more aggro in best of one and just having like ambusher, wicked wolf, Tulsimer, these cards are just awesome against aggro against small creature decks. They're just amazing. And so that's really what this deck is designed to beat the small creature decks in uh, best of one there. Uh, yeah, but that's it here for abs and wolves. So, uh, Please hit that like button over there and also leave some comments. I would appreciate both of those. If you're playing this in best of three, let me know how you're doing with the sideboard. Let me know what you think of like the, the Vivian Champion of the Wilds and the Rankle. Uh, if you have any other great idea for one of those slots, you know, leave a comment. But that's it here for Abzan Wolf. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Yeah, Command the Dreadhorde. That could go there too. I kind of don't really want to play more sixes. I want to play something cheaper, but Command the Dread Horde can be very powerful, that's for sure. I, d I don't dislike that against decks that are not attacking your life total at all. Got a lot of good targets to bring back. That could be a good one.